for the box squat, it's important that you find something to sit on that's going to make it challenging, but not too hard that you can actually control the movement all the way down to seated. The height of the thing that you choose is going to be personal to you. So maybe if you've got quite sore knees, you might need to pick a higher surface. Or if you're feeling quite confident in your squat, then you might want to pick something that's quite low and is going to really challenge your range of motion. So to start, you're going to stand with your feet just a bit wider than hip width apart. While keeping your feet totally flat on the floor, you're going to start to sit back and down onto your seat. It's really important that you sit down with as much control as possible. So try and sit down really gently. You don't want to sort of thud off of the seat. Once you're seated, you can actually let the seat take all of your weight. So you're going to sit there for a second and then you're going to push back up. Even though you're letting the surface take all of your weight, be careful not to slump and sort of let your core go weak at the bottom. So you want to maintain a strong core and straight back, but still let it take all of your weight. To make this harder, you can make the lowering movement even slower and more controlled. You could lower the surface you're sitting on, or you can add some weights. I would hold two dumbbells at my front like I'm doing here, or one heavier dumbbell at your chest. 